And welcome once again to If You Like That, Watch This, which is a special series where I'm going to take a given well-known anime work and recommend some other anime you might want to watch if you liked it. So today we're going to be looking at a fan favorite anime film, a thing, something that a lot of folks have watched and enjoyed. And in this case, it is Kiki's Delivery Service, the classic Studio Ghibli Hayao Miyazaki anime film from the early 90s. And uh, if you like Kiki's Delivery Service, I have a few other suggestions there. Uh, for example, um, if you like Kiki's from the perspective of being about a young girl um, having to interact with a uh, the world and kind of grow up, I would recommend Yobi the Five-Tailed Fox. This is a Korean film from, oops, I got that wrong, 2007. Let me correct that right now, 2007, sorry. Korean animated film. Now, those who know, know that there's been a lot of Korean animated films um, with some very interesting stuff um, that has been done over the past decade or so. And uh, Kiki's, I'm sorry, uh, Yobi is a very interesting little film about a young girl living in the forest um, who then has uh, certain things that she um, gets involved with. There's some kids in a local school that she has to... Uh, 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 get involved with, and she also hangs out with some very strange creatures out in the forest and has to deal with this. This is a really beautiful film. Um, it's a little hard to tell from some of the screenshots here, but it's a lovely film. Uh, works much better in, uh, in motion than it does in still frames, which is common to a lot of Korean animation, actually. And uh, again, a, a very pretty film with a lot of interesting themes in it, and definitely about a young girl having to to grow up and deal with some pretty adult mature um, or, uh, issues of maturity, shall we, shall we say. Uh, if you like the, uh, a story about a young girl coming to grips with working, I'd recommend Hanasaku Iroha. This is a 26 episode TV series from 2011. Uh, it's about a bunch of girls who work at a hot spring resort, which is a very traditional kind of place to go and relax. And this teenage girl who's never really had much responsibility in her life in terms of having to earn her keep, suddenly has to uh, work for a living here at this resort. And so it's something about having to, to deal with that, about having um, uh, co-workers, some of whom you don't get along with, and you just have to kind of deal with that. And some customers aren't very pleasant to deal with. So it's uh, an interesting series in terms of being about uh, the working world. In a, in a very real way, but not the working world in terms of just offices, the working world in terms of working conditions and co-workers and such. So interesting uh, series, and again, 26 episodes, so plenty of content to go through there. Now, if you're interested in something that is more close to the Kiki's Delivery Service concept, I'd recommend Some Days Dreamers, an anime series from 2011, uh, sorry, 2003, 12 episodes, getting all my dates wrong this time. Um, same basic premise as Kiki's, but in this case, the girl is in high school, high school age. And in this world, um, witches and wizards get their powers sometime in their teen years. And they're sent off to apprentice in the city under a more senior practiced wizard or witch. I think they're all called witches in this series. So our main character here um, goes off to Tokyo to, um, to learn how to use her powers properly under the tutelage of a uh, much more experienced uh, older man. Well, older than her, he's certainly a young man. And so she has to adjust to life in the big city. She's from the country, so she's somewhat intimidated by the city living. And she's also uh, teamed up with another apprentice who's a very sophisticated young woman uh, in the city about her age. So that makes it a little, even, a little harder for our protagonist to, to deal with that. So um, Somebody's Dreamers is a really nice, uh, uh, really light series, uh, which does deal with having these powers and what that means. There are some... Uh, some serious moments in this series later on as well. And uh, uh, so while it starts kind of light and happy, it does deal with the idea that people are coming to this person and asking to use magical spells to kind of fix reality um, or fix problems that they have. And is that a, the right thing to do? It's kind of an interesting thing. So it kind of delves more into what it means to have magic powers than we saw in a lot of other, um, that we've seen a lot of other anime works, particularly Kiki's Delivery Service. And Kiki, she kind of has powers and uses them, but in some days, Dreamers, we actually get into, into the morality of that, which is kind of nice. So if you like Kiki's Delivery Service, those are three that I'd recommend. You'll be the Five-Tailed Fox, Hanasako Iroha, 
and Some Days Dreamers, all very interesting little work. So that's it for this episode. Hope you come back next time. I'll give you some more recommendations. Thanks for watching.